Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out. Today we've got the Marvel Legends X-Men series Mr. Sinister from the Wendigo Wave. This is for ages 4 plus and taking a look at the packaging on the side here. We've got a nice picture of Mr. Sinister looking very sinister. On the back we have a read up if you want to read that. I'll zoom this in here. You can go ahead and pause that right now. If you don't, go ahead and read the rest of this too, which is a bunch of words. On the other side we've got the same Mr. Sinister. On the top we've got the X logo and on the bottom we've got a barcode and some stuff. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open, take him over to the light box for a closer look. So here we are at the light box and taking a look at the accessories. First off, it came with one of these choking hazard things. Basically says, hey, don't choke on this. And if you do, it's not our fault. Uh, then we have the arm for Wendigo. And this looks pretty good. Uh, again, we'll look at this a little further once we take a look at that full Build-A-Figure. Paint didn't go all the way through. Mm -mm -mm. But uh, anyway, we'll take a look at that later on. We're talking about Mr. Sinister himself. And boom, there he is. Look at him. Ah. So mean, so evil, so vicious. I really like that. It's a good clean paint job there on the face. The uh, diamond on his forehead is painted really well. I like the white, I like the little chin strap. Everything's kind of there. Mine's really clean. A little scuff right there, but I think I may have done that while I was posing him around. But the uh, cape looks really good. It's painted different on both sides. So you get the red on the underside and the black on the over. I think it may be cast in the red. Yeah, it looks like it's cast in the red. And then the, uh, the blue, or the black, or the dark navy color, navy-ish, I don't know. It's painted on there. Got that belt piece, looks good, no paint there. I like the shiny blue plastic. I think that's just the plastic color, but it looks really nice. And I like how they're putting different sculpted pieces over different pieces of plastic. I think that really helps, because then you don't have to paint, you can just do different color plastic, and it looks pretty good. You don't have to worry about bleeding or edges or anything like that, so that looks good. Uh, peg holes at the bottom of the feet, they're all messed up, but yeah, peg holes at the bottom of the feet, those look really good. Just taking a look at those. It's kind of that more matte, where this is more shiny. Looks great. Let's go ahead and take him out of the light box here and go over to the review station and talk about some articulation. So talking about articulation, and uh, first off, his head is a little bit inhibited by that giant collar that he's got there. The giant collar looks great, very vampiric, but uh, definitely gets in the way. It can still look up a pretty good amount though even with that collar, you just can't see it from the side. He can look down really good, he can bury his chin to his chest, which is nice because he's a bigger guy. A little bit of pivot, not really very much at all. Uh, side to side works fine. At the shoulders, the arms go out right at about 90. They are kind of hung up by this piece right here. That also gets in the way if you go to rotate it around. It could do a full rotation, but you're gonna run into that plastic, but it's a little bit of a softer plastic, so not gonna be too much of an issue there. We have a double jointed elbow, comes in about that far. We have wrists that hinge down, they hinge up, and there is a swivel, same thing on the other side, down or side to side, rather than up and down. At the abs, they crunch forward about meow far, they crunch back about meow far. We've got our waist rotation, we've got uh, hips that come out pretty good, not too bad there at all. Uh, they go forward about that much, and they don't really go back so much at all. Uh, there is an upper thigh swivel uh, in the form of this cut right here, so it's not actually at the top like it normally is. It's actually down in this boot area, which I like a lot because that's hidden really well. Then you got a double jointed knee comes in pretty good. Not all the way pretty good. We've got a weird uh, rotation at the bottom of the boot, so I call it a boot rotation, but it's a very tiny boot, <laughs> So, but that works just well. Uh, and so down on the angles, up on the ankles and there is crazy ankle rocker pivot for a size comparison here he is next to a few of the x-men figures we've got cyclops cyclops wolverine jubilee and uh it's the old cyclops new cyclops uh tiger stripe wolverine from the apocalypse wave i believe and then jubilee uh from that more recent caliban wave to pick on someone more his own size, we've got Beast there on the right, and that's the newer Beast, and then we've got uh, Bearded Colossus there on the left, and I think these all scale pretty well together. I like that Colossus is still big and chunky and the biggest guy up there. For comparison against a few of his bigger friends, we've got the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure there on the left and the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure there on the right. And just to test the size of my review station and to remind us that even though he is a big guy, we have seen bigger. We have the Select Juggernaut there on the right, and on the left we have the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure from back in the Toy Biz days. And you can see he's a little bit shorter than that. Finally, for a comparison across a few different lines, we've got the Masher Spider-Man, the Mezco 112th Iron Man, the McFarland Fortnite Skull Trooper, 
and the Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Star Wars Black series. That's a mouthful right there. So that's him, that's Mr. Sinister, and overall, um, price for uh, what you're paying and what you're getting, I think it's a really great uh, figure. Um, he looks good, he articulates well, um, well enough for a big guy. It just, you couldn't really ask for more in a single release figure. I like it a lot. Came with builder figure piece too. Awesome. Um, but anyways, what'd you guys think? Hit like, hit subscribe, check me out over on Instagram if you'd like at Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. Uh, check out some of my other videos, and in the meantime, Happy collecting.